somebody thinks that you insinuate, okay, as opposed to using your intuition, they think that you are insinuating, you're talking out the side of your neck, you assume, you may even just be making shit up, okay? That's what somebody thought about you. It's a, it's a lot of somebodies who didn't believe you when you were speaking from an intuitive place, from a divine source, from the Holy Spirit. They thought you was insinuating shit, okay? But they learning right now that you are quite intuitive, that the Most High God do be speaking through you, and they should have taken heed to what you said, okay? You know, people think it's a game. They think you don't know what the fuck you're talking about and whatever. You ain't got no power. You don't know nothing. And, they be, and whoever this is, whoever they are, rather, because it's a lot of somebodies, they being shown right now that, that there was nothing that you said that was an insinuation. They know it's the truth. They know that the most high God be speaking through you because what you intuitively stated was going to happen didn't happen. Clarify, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. And some of these people, they have realized, oh, she do be knowing. But it's still a few scrag stragglers, stragglers in them who still ain't took the hint from the Holy Spirit, from the universe, that they don't need to play with you in your name and your intuitive abilities. So what else, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit? It's still some people who doubt you, who think it's a game. But it's a lot of motherfuckers that then woke up because of what they are currently experiencing that you predicted somehow that people thought you was insinuating or just talking shit about. Let's go. What else, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit, at this time? Do you want the collective to know? DM and DF have teamed up spiritually. <clears throat> even when people were doubting you, even when people were talking about you and saying that you were crazy and, you know, I'm even hearing somebody tried to say you were making terroristic threats because of the intuitive things that you were saying. It's a lot of that was going around. Okay, but there's somebody who believed in you all along. There's somebody who knew that you were a high priestess, that you were getting downloads and whispers from the universe. You've gotten whispers and downloads from this person. They have encouraged you to keep talking, to, to keep going, to keep saying what the Most High God is divinely guiding you to say because you write on the money. This person has been a spiritual support to you. They are part of the reason why you have continued to endure people's doubts and still express yourself in this way because they are your soulmate. This person has really been by your side all along. You may not have realized that this is what is happening. You may not have realized that this person was encouraging you spiritually and from afar, but they have been. They know who you are too. That's what I just heard. Okay? Because see, they didn't heard about how people claim that you insinuate what you know, that you don't really be knowing that you be guessing you be just coming up with shit he's heard people talk about you and say that you are insinuating things making up things guessing about things but he has picked up off of you 
that you really are intuitive, that you're clairvoyant, that the Most High God talks to you and through you. And he started listening. So in your pursuit of your divine purpose, you have already met your divine masculine in the 5D. This man is going to come towards you in the 3D as well. The point of it all is that I love you. The reason why he has stayed away is because this man wanted to make sure that there was nothing that could come between you and him when it was time for y'all to partner together. Okay? So he has supported you in the 5D. He has sent you a plethora of strength and encouragement. I promise you, on those days when you wanted to give up because you were tired of people playing with your name, and playing around with your intuitive abilities, this divine masculine encouraged you to keep going, to keep putting out your messages, to keep helping people. Even if there were individuals who were claiming that you were not about that life, this man was still <clears throat> telling you to continue your divine journey in the life ahead, no matter who believes in it, no matter who supports you, because he got you, he supports you. You have felt like you had some sort of safety net. You've, you, and, and that's the most high God too, but <clears throat> that's also the most high God in the universe working through this masculine, allowing him to transmute his love for you into support, into protection even, okay? <clears throat> the reason why my throat is doing this is because all these gossiping men who was talking shit about you they ain't talking nothing no more. They they don't know what to say. They've been clearing their throat for about the past 24 hours because justice was most definitely served. Okay? Whatever you've been saying was going to happen. <clears throat> Whatever you predicted, that shit is happening. You was right on the money. I'm telling you. And even though this DM, know, he know the people who were doubting you. He know a good bit of them. He heard them talking shit about you. And he didn't call them out. He ain't bring your name up. He didn't try to publicly defend you. He ain't got to do that. He don't have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these gossiping men about their opinion of you. That's their opinion. They can have their opinion. But he knew that <clears throat> the universe was going to show them that you were the truth. And that's exactly what has happened because these men ain't got shit to say. Not a damn thing. That's why my throat keep doing that. It's like people have even asked them because they talk so much shit about you and what you claim to be true to other folks that now that things are playing out exactly how you said it, people are coming back to them and they ain't got, they can't even formulate a clear, coherent sentence. They keep clearing their throat. They don't know what to say because they have watched divine order play out. They have watched exactly what you said Go from point A to B to C. Okay? Prophecy. You express some sort of prophecy about the future. And these people was trying to play you like you was crazy and you ain't know what you was talking about. That you just be insinuating shit. That you may have even read something in a book, child. And you just repeating what you heard or what you read, or what you learned. You don't really be knowing. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. Okay? 
But they ass on an emo emotional roller coaster right now because of what you was talking about, what you said. They ass going through it now because of what you said. If they would have listened to what you said and took heed and started trying to adjust their behavior accordingly, they may not be facing the hell that they facing right now. That's what I just heard. Instead of gossiping about you and laughing at you and what you were saying, they ass should have been trying to damn take heed now. And they know it. Right now, they know that they should have listened to you woke up woke up and paid attention and that's what the most high god and the holy spirit is encouraging these people to do now okay give you your flowers give you your props because you is that you don't be insinuating a damn thing you are whole intuitive shaman energy who definitely has a con a connection with the fifth element okay so they need to put some respect on your name and they need to put some respect on the most high God name. <clears throat> because if they don't repent, I'm here to repent, child. If they don't repent, if they don't ask for forgiveness for how they talk trash about you and what the most high God was divinely guiding you to do, shit gonna get worse. They think it's bad now. Okay, the book of life. Because see, like I tell folks, everything that you say about a motherfucker, everything you do against a motherfucker, that shit is being recorded in the book of life, even if nobody else knows about it. Your actions, your statements, your expressions, and your efforts have been dictated, transcribed, into the book of life and you ain't getting away with nothing so if you want to change the narrative you need to change your mind and work your mouth into some form of repentance asking for some form of forgiveness but look these people try to do something look they try to do something against you they didn't not only just talk shit about you, quote unquote, insinuating things. They tried to stop you somehow. Because I'm picking up on this heavy need to repent. A very heavy need to repent. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Some of these people didn't, didn't woke up now. But some of these people still on that bullshit. Clarify. Do the right thing. I'm trying to tell you now. I'm trying to tell you. This is a call for a lot of these folks to start doing the right thing. To see this for what it really is. Okay? It ain't just a bump in the road. It, just, it ain't just a setback. It's a call to change your life, change your mindset, and change your behavior. To start doing the right thing. Or shit gonna get worse. I'm telling you. Some of these people that were talking about you. Insinuating stuff. They could have been your cousins. Out here to folks. People outside of y'all family talking shit about you. Like they don't think you know. I keep trying to tell people. Ain't nothing hidden. I'm telling you, it's going to be a cold, hard winter if people don't start repenting and getting their shit together. I'm telling you now. You got family members who was out here talking trash about you and your intuitive abilities. You got a group of cackling men who was talking trash about you. Like this divine masculine knows of what was being said about you now and he watching all of this play out and it has 
really catapulted you and your your level of level of importance to him like that whatever was he was trying to wrap up and handle and get together before he came towards you he in overtime he he's in overdrive he is working extra hard now to come towards you directly because he see how anointed and divine you are and he knew it all along but to actually see it play out with people personally that he knows he's he's in awe he know you the truth he got to have you girl and he has been spiritually supporting you all along but it's still like i said it's still some other people who like we still don't trust her and what she say i don't care she don't know what the hell she talking about she was that was just a lucky guess okay all right that's what the universe is saying to these people you may even have some cousins that still are carrying that karmic energy about you despite the hell that these people is catching right now but that is life you gonna always have a few people who will continue to doubt you even when they being shown that you the truth but that's because they broken that's it and that's all their insecurity is showing so if there are still people out here who are currently suffering the consequences of something that has occurred that you stated would take place if they still out here talking shit about you they they deserve what they going through okay that's what i'm hearing if they still think that you be insinuating after they are living what you predicted then that's a lost cause i don't even waste no energy trying to understand that type of mindset and you shouldn't either because the universe not but best believe the universe is watching the universe is watching to see who is taking heed who is trying to repent clean up their mind body and spirit and do better moving forward after whatever tragedy has taken place some sort of tragedy has taken place now Something you predicted and people wanted to hate on you because what you were describing or what you were claiming would occur was something that is low vibrational. That ain't good. But that's a direct result of the energy that these folks was putting out to the universe. It's called universal law. You get back what you put out. And these same folks was putting out some sort of negative energy to the universe. And you were speaking about it. You were encouraging people to let that mentality and mindset go and to do the right thing. But they didn't want to listen. And I'm telling you, for the ones that still think it's a game, they really finna learn. Because everybody already going through it. I'm telling you now, what happened, Holy Spirit? Clarify, please, and thank you. What specifically happened to let these people know that your shaman energy, divine feminine, ain't nothing to play with? Clarify. Time to retain legal representation. Somebody asked and got in trouble. A lot of somebodies. A lot of somebody's now. Weather. They, they catching, oh, ain't there some shit going on right now where people are without power? People ain't got food. People ain't got gas. Okay. Matter of fact, thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of y'all small towns where y'all come from right now is catching hell because of the weather some of these same small towns that set up and talk cash money shit about you and what you are out here trying to do in the world with your divinity and your intuitive abilities okay that's how some of these people are catching it right now through the weather 
sacrifice, baby. Baby, it's giving that raise energy. That's what it's giving now. And, and if people are facing those type of travesties, those type of difficulties, and they still talking shit about, how you got time to be talking shit about anybody and you are looking for something to eat? Can't see in the dark with a flashlight. If you had one. But you you got time to still be trying to talk trash about one of the most high gods, divine messengers. That's why this man trying to hurry up and get to you. Because I'm telling you, he didn't watch you predict some sort of travesty, some sort of tragedy that was going to happen if people didn't do better. And that shit happening right now. And that's why he trying to hurry up and get over there where the fuck you at. Because see, like I said, God forgives you. You just need to forgive yourself. You need to ask for forgiveness. You need to repent. You need to do better. Okay? It's up to y'all. It's up to us. God is not going to force your hand and make you do the right thing. You have free will. You have to choose and decide to live a righteous, not even a righteous life, a humble life, a divinely guided life because that righteous energy, it gets tricky because some people think they are so righteous that they above God, like these folks that I'm picking up on that's out here on this table. And then he got the damn humble they ass until they ask for grace and mercy because they realize they ain't running a damn thing. I don't care how much money you got. If the most high God said your ass ain't going to eat, your ass ain't going to eat. And that's what's happening for a lot of people right now. Because they refuse to respect the knowledge and foresight that you were conveying to them. They wanted to say that you was assuming and the universe then made an ass out of these motherfuckers. Do you hear me? Okay. And people want you to have sympathy and empathy for what they going through after they done set up and talked about you and defamed your character and supported people's corruption against you. No, ma'am. You're going to have to look for empathy and sympathy somewhere else. Because when somebody is trying to tell you something and you play in their face and then try to purposely punish them for it, they don't have to have empathy for you. When you start catching that karma that you sent towards them, when that karma start coming back towards you, they don't have to empathize for what you, what you going through, especially when you was out here trying to promote hell for them. Cause I'm telling you, that's what these people was doing. Trying to make you look crazy. I'm telling you, it's something about them claiming that you were reading information and expressing it like you intuitively knew what was going on as opposed to reading and researching what was going on and then talking about it like you were divinely aware. That's what they think you've been doing. And if they still think you've been doing that, they ain't learned a damn thing. Not one thing. If they think that you out here searching through books and researching to have something to talk about. That shows their lack of belief in the Most High God and in the Holy Spirit. Okay? That's what that shows. Mm, get you some sort of copycat child. I'm telling you, it's people who is catching straight hell right now who all fucked up in the game that's still trying to talk trash about you and doubt your skills, 
gifts and abilities. And baby, it's going to be a hard winter because they refuse to check themselves. They still out here claiming that you be insinuating. They ain't never scared. They don't give a fuck what you talking about. That was a coincidence. What happened? You ain't know. You just, you might have even read an almanac or was looking up some shit. That's how you figured out that was going to happen. Like these people crazy because it couldn't be me. It couldn't be me being stripped down to primitive medieval times and still be out here talking shit about no divine messenger. It couldn't be me out here ain't got no lights, got no water, got no heat, got no air, got no food. But still out here talking shit about a high priestess who predicted that something like that was going to happen if people didn't tighten up and start living better. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me out here like that. But it still is some people who ain't learned. So, you know, just be mindful. You can't convert everybody. You can't make everybody be a believer. Even when life be lifing, they still want to stay in with their head in the clouds. Let them. Because your DM is on his way. He finna come up out the clouds. He finna come up out that 5D energy right towards you. Clarify, Holy Spirit, and we gonna close. Mm -mm. It's only up from here, baby. I'm telling you, because these motherfuckers didn't hit rock bottom and still got the nerve to be talking shit, but it's okay because he's so ready to come towards you and start life anew. This person was located wherever these individuals are. Okay, clarify, Holy Spirit. It's something like over time, he has started distance, distancing himself away from a lot of people because of what they were saying about you. This easily could be the hometown or community you come from. Look, let's chill. Because he knew that he wanted to be with you and he couldn't keep being around these gossiping men or anybody else that was out here defaming your character and calling you crazy because of your intuitive abilities. Confirmation. I'm telling you, these people hungry. Y'all heard how my stomach just growled. I'm finna go get something to eat. Okay? Show Liz out my kitchen. But I'm telling you, these people is hungry right now and got the nerve to still be talking shit about you. Couldn't be me, child. I'll be on my knees somewhere praying. Asking the Most High God to turn it around for everybody. I damn sure wouldn't be out here talking shit about nobody. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Sick, ill. Because see, like I said, like I said now, they think it's bad now. But keep being out here, keep being, out here being blasphemous. Because that's what that's called. That's called blasphemy. When you still out here damn near spitting in God's face after he done damn rained his power, his Holy Spirit fire down on your life and you still out here trying to act like you don't know what time it is, he gonna show you something else to help you get your mind right now. Your mind, body, and your spirit. Think it's a game. Final card, Holy Spirit. Think it's the game now. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, dog. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I be going through what I'm picking up, and I know people going through right now, and still I be out here talking shit and not trying to get on one accord with the Most High God. But see, this is the energy that some people are giving. It, this, this is why I'm picking up how this Divine Masculine is really trying to escape wherever he is at now wherever you come from because they catching it down there and he still sees the demonic energy floating around in these people despite what they are currently going through that's the shine they they still don't get it honey mm, mm, mm. and that's why the universe ain't giving them shit they don't get it they can't get 
what the universe been giving them through you, the universe ain't going to give them nothing to help their ass out in return until they do. Because a lot of these people are looking for sanctuary right now and they can't find it. No matter how much, I'm telling you, no matter how much money they fucking got, they ass is having to sit and suffer with their current circumstances. And that's because of all the trash, all the shit that they talked about you and what you were divinely guided by the most high God to share with the world. Because see, you a whole geisha vibe. You ain't no slew foot and you definitely ain't got to be reading up to come up with nothing to talk about because all your shit comes straight from the divine and you innocent of these false claims that they've been making about you, insinuating things instead of using your intuitive ability to know about it. You innocent of that charge and they see it right now. But if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.